Um, hi, and I guess uh, welcome back to uh, these vid uh, the next video where I'm uh, going to answer some more of these uh, questions. So in this video, I'm going to answer uh, this quest question, which is, did you ever get stuck, and if so, what did you do? So uh, I guess to answer the first part, yes, I definitely get stuck. Uh, I, get, I feel like I get stuck uh, all the time on, uh, you know, on different problems, on a... Uh, different decisions if I, you know, if I'm, you know, making a decision about what class to take or, um, uh, you know, I feel like I get stuck on things uh, a lot. Uh, you know, even I, I think that uh, I guess, um, you know, uh, um, you know, I, I've actually been thinking about, you know, how engineering in general, uh, which is, I, I guess, what I'm going into, uh, you know, it's almost like your job is to be the person that's stuck on stuff and figure out how to get, how to get, you know, un, unstuck, I guess, uh, you know, it's, it's almost like you're, you, you really have to get good at being stuck on something and kind of knowing how to, how to get yourself out of it. Um, and, uh, I guess there are, you know, two things that I do whenever I get stuck. And one, one thing, the first thing that, uh, I try to do that I would say works, you know, the first thing that I tried to do, and I would say that this works, you know, for me, and I can, you know, I can, you know, definitely say that for different people, uh, you know, different people will have different degrees of success uh, using this technique. Uh, I will say that this first technique works for me for getting me unstuck on something, probably about, you know, 80 to you know, 85% of the time this, uh, this technique works. And that is taking a walk, taking a walk. Um, if I am stuck on some type of problem, uh, I don't know what it is about, you know, getting up and walking around and thinking about the problem or even thinking about something else or, you know, maybe just taking you know, and sometimes this can be a pretty long walk. I mean, sometimes it can be a two-hour walk. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, sometimes just giving yourself time to think about the problem you're working on or to think about, you know, other stuff. Uh, I think, it, it, you know, at least for me, it's been, uh, you know, it's been amazing how much this has actually helped. And even, you know, this is one of the things that, uh, that I want to say about this. When, if I'm stuck on a problem, and I, and I take a walk, I will always, always, like I say that 80 to 85% of the time, it, you know, maybe solves the problem, but 100% of the time, 100% of the time, I will always think up an idea. I will always get some idea, some idea. This d idea could be terrible, I guess, you know, based on this calculation, it is terrible, between 20 and 15 percent of the time, but um, uh, you know, if I'm stuck on a problem and I go and take a walk, I will 100 percent of the time always get some idea uh, as to how to deal with that problem. Um, so anyway, that is, I guess, the you know, uh, that's the the number one, I guess, piece of advice that that I could that I could possibly give if you're stuck on something. It's, uh, is try to take a walk and you know even if it has to be a long walk even if it has if it has to be you know approximately a two hour walk uh you know i would say you know most of the time if i take a walk you know most of my walks are probably a half hour uh about maybe about that long but sometimes you know if it's you know if it's something i've been working on for a while or you know just for whatever reason it's not you know abnormal to you know need to take two hours to just you know, think about something with nothing in front of you, with no computer screen in front of you, with, you know, no paper in front of you. Uh, but I found that to be really helpful. Um, the second thing is uh, really relying on your friends, uh, really relying on your friends uh, for information. Um, you know, like uh, one of my best friends is, you know, really kind of my... Uh, mentor on, you know, lots of things in terms of, you know, almost any type of problem that, that I could have. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, I think that, you know, this is, I think, true of any 
professional field you go into and, you know, any kind of, I guess, social issue that you might be having or, you know, uh, it, it is really impossible for any one person to know everything. So I think that, you know, you, you increase your, I guess, personal wealth of knowledge and wisdom by being able to, uh, you know, uh, ask your friends for help. Uh, and I feel like I, you know, I feel like I do that, uh, a good amount of the time. Like I, you know, I, I feel like I, you know, maybe I could do it better, but, uh, I feel like it, it is really important to be able to ask your friends if they have found a solution to the problem. And then I guess the third thing that I do, the third thing I normally resort to Google. Um, you know, uh, this is definitely true for coding. Any type of coding problem I have, uh, if it's a coding problem, I'd say that Googling it probably re replaces the walk. But, um, uh, you know, I might Google it first. If I don't find the problem immediately, I'll take a walk, come back, Google it again, and then I'll ask my friends. It's maybe what I'll do. But anyway, uh, I guess that's what I do if I get stuck on something. First thing, take a walk. Second thing, ask friends. Third thing is to Google it, see if someone else on the Internet has come up with the solution. And who knows, if you Google it, you might find something like, like Khan Academy, I guess. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.